going on, peeps? It's Rath here, hanging out today, playing some Monster Legends. Want to thank you guys so much for coming out with me today. If you liked the video, don't forget to smash that thumbs up button and show your support. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe as well. Alright, peeps, as you can see here, the island boost is on. Now, what this means is items spawn twice as fast. Alright, so instead of collecting uh, the max amount of items in 8 hours, you can collect the max amount of items in 4 hours. So, during this whatever day and a half that's left of the double item boost, you need to be getting on every hour, or every, uh, not hour, every two hours to every four hours to make sure you're getting all of your items as fast as possible. This should make it much easier if you're really trying in this event to get Totem. Um, if you're not really trying in this event, it means you will get the epic um, Incanadius pretty much without trying. So, that's the double item boost. Now, today's video is going to be a little different than other videos because we're going to do some talking, peeps. It's got frequently asked questions. I get a lot of questions, and I get a lot of them a lot. The same question over and over again. So, today's video is going to be dedicated to answering those questions. Alright? Alright, so we're going to do some little dungeon battles here in the background, just so it's not super duper boring to watch. And then, and then peeps, we'll start talking about some frequently asked questions. So first up, let's jump here into the dungeons and get things going. Alright, so... First question I get pretty often is, Wrath, can I friend you on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, what all these different deals are, social media stuff and things. Can I friend you there? Can I be there? Do you have one of these things? Um, the answer was no. I never really messed with Facebook ever. It wasn't something I really get on much. I get on it like once a month for cell week, and that's pretty much it. Um, but last night, I did make a Twitter account. Why? I don't know. For the peeps, I guess, because I don't even really know how to use it because, I don't know, I just don't use social media very much. So I made a Twitter account. It is at Wrath of God Games. Um, there'll be a little deal on the screen here, and there'll probably be a link in the description as well. If you want to follow me there, you can. If you have questions for me, you can ask them there and stuff like that. Um, so there is now a Twitter account for Wrath of God Gaming. It's official, peeps. It's there. So question number one. Can you friend me on Twitter or whatever? Follow me on Twitter. Yes, you can. And there's going to be a link for that. So, bang. Question number one, done. Question number two, Wrath. Can you do a face cam? Wrath, can you do a face reveal? Wrath, make face cam videos. All right. I get this question all the time. Now, the main reason I cannot do face cam videos is, one, I record directly off my phone. The only recording device I have to record gameplay. And as such... Um, I don't really have anything else to record my face with, alright? So, there are apps that allow you to record your face cam um, using the camera on your phone, the front-facing camera. The problem with that is, when you hold your phone to play, you know, video games on it, your fingers are always going in front of that camera. So, um, I just can't do a face cam video. It's not something I'm able to do. Um, I, you know, if I could, maybe... But uh, I can't, so it's, it's going to be a hard no for now. If you really want to see Wrath's face, um, there is a picture of me on Twitter. There you go. That's as, that's as close as you're going to get to a face cam for now. You can see Wrath in the flesh, the face behind the voice. Go there and check it out. So, face cam. Eh, not for now. That question answered. Now, the third question. I probably get this question more than any question of any other question that I ever get. And it is... Wrath, can I join your team? Wrath, can you invite me to your team? Can I get in your team, please? Okay, I get this all the time. Like, literally, I would say 90% of my videos, somebody asked to join the team in each one of them. Now, obviously, that's a physical impossibility for me to let everybody in because there's only 30 people in teams. I really kind of wish there was 50 people teams, don't get me wrong. But with 30 people teams, even if, like, th there's just not enough space to get all those requests in. It's just not possible. Now... How I've been doing it up until now is, you know, when we get an opening in the team, I just go through who's actually sitting in the roster waiting to be in the team. I scout their profile. I see what their runes they're using, if they're using runes smartly, um, if they're active in PvP, things like that. Kind of give me a, a decent idea of the person that I'm letting into the team. See if they're pretty active, they know what they're doing, all right? So far, that's been how I've been getting new people in the team. If someone, you know, does leave or if we have to kick somebody out for an activity, that's how we fill the spot. Well... Now that I got Twitter, again, not 100% sure how it works, but um, I can now, I guess, just throw a tweet out or whatever when we have an opening in the team. And you guys, if you see it or whatever, you can come drop an application off. I'll give it like five or ten minutes. I'll go through and check everybody out, and somebody will get in. 
Therefore, there will be actually be a notification to the peeps if there's an opening, so you have guys have a better chance of getting in than if there was no um, notification at all. So, that's going to be a thing coming up, I guess, the next time we have an open spot. Check Twitter. There may be a little notification for you to see if you can join the team. Now, question number four. I get this one pretty often as well. It's not super duper often, but every now and again I get people asking, Wrath, are you a free-to-play player or do you spend money? Wrath, right now, to date, I have spent, is that, I think it's $2 or $4, but $4 on this game. I did it one time because my brother <laughs> needed like three war coins um, to get a general before the shop refreshed. And um, there was a fraternity event going on, so if I bought $4 worth of gems, he would get his coins. So I went ahead and did it. That is all that I've spent on the game so far. I have not bought any VIPs, any Nemesis monsters. I came close on Samuel because he looks so freaking cool, but I didn't. Um, I've never bought gems other than those $4. I am a free-to-play player. Um, and people don't really get that, you know, how do you get so many legendary stuff, free-to-play player and stuff like that, you know. It takes so long to be free-to-play player, and it does, it does. The key to being a free-to-play player is patience, peeps. You've got to be patient, or you are going to be really outclassed by the spenders, like, way more than normal. Like, I'm not saying that I'm even on par with spenders. I'm not. If you're a heavy spender on this game, you've got me beat, okay? You win. Um, but some people that are casual spenders, you can still keep pace with them and actually do better than them as long as you're spending your gym smart and you're not wasting them on things you don't need to be wasting them on. And that's important. So, am I free-to-play player? Pretty much yes, other than $4 worth. <laughs> I'm free to play. I don't spend money on gyms or nemesis or VIPs. Not saying I never will, but as of now, as of this video, I do not. Okay? Okay, peeps. Now, the fifth question I get pretty often. Anytime there's a good offers coming on and stuff like that, people are always asking me, Wrath, should I buy, insert monster name here, um, Barbados, Frostbite, whatever, for 249 gyms? Should I pick up this offer? Is it a good offer? And I'm going to tell you, what I tell everybody in the comments is no. Unless you really, 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 more than life itself want that monster for whatever reason, 249 gems is overpaying for a legendary. You should never spend that many gems to get a legendary because if you're patient, which is the key to free to play, you can actually turn that 249 gems into almost two legendaries. Not quite, but close to. All right? So, now disclaimer there if there's like a double or triple offer you know they're like two monsters together for 400 or three monsters together for 600 gems um those offers aren't bad those are one of your the best straight up offers you can buy in the game because you're going to be guaranteeing yourself three rune slots on each of those monsters and if each of those monsters are good obviously you're picking up each legendary for only 200 well 100 yeah 200 gems pretty much so it's overpaying by a little bit but not a lot, and it's something that I, I would do myself if I if there's a really good three-person offer. I almost did it. If I would have had 600 gems on this, um, this last offer with the three dark monsters, I would have picked up Mommy, Barbados, and Balthazar for 600 gems, and that would have been a good deal because all three of those monsters are pretty good, and I didn't have them. So, you know, in those situations, yes, I would say picking up the two or three offers at the same time is an absolutely fine idea, but to buy a monster by itself for 249 gems is a terrible idea. It's going to be overpaying by at least 60 gems, and at worst, um, 100 gems. So, now I get people say, Wrath, don't tell people to cheat using the cell glitch. You know, okay, I'm not telling people to cheat using the cell glitch. Even if you don't use the cell glitch exploit, um, during double cell week, you can still pick up a legendary monster for 152 gems. Because you'll be trading with a friend. You know, your friend buys... 40 cells of the monster he wants, 40 cells of the monster you want, and then you guys trade those cells to each other, so you both get a legendary for 152 gems. You just have to spend 20 elementium to get your, your craft going on, though, but still, 152 gems for a legendary is much, much better than 249 gems. You see what I'm saying there? Like I said, if you're going to be free to play, you absolutely have to be very frugal with your gem spending. Um, impulse buys in any game is always a bad idea. Because it's going to drain you of your gems faster, drain you of whatever special resource there is in that game, much quicker. It means people that are more patient will end up in the end having far more legendary monsters than you do. All right? It's just how it works. You know, if I'm picking up a monster for 150 gems every cell week and you're buying uh, monsters constantly for 249, every time you buy a monster, you're spending 100 more gems than I am. So by the time you buy three monsters, I could buy two extra monsters. See what I'm saying there? Not always the best idea. So... That's why I say 
No. If it's 249 gems, don't buy it. Wait for Cell Week. Be a little patient. Trade with somebody for 152 gems. Get your legendary you want then. Or um, you can just sit there. You can do the glitch, and it's 150 gems by itself. You can also take it really slow by yourself. And if you want, like, two or three monsters, but you don't have enough gems to buy them, just buy the first round of purchases, you know, for three gems each. So it's like 20 cells for 30 gems. Buy your two or three monsters you're wanting. Buy 20 of those cells for each of them. And then wait till the next cell week. Yes, it takes a long time to get your monster that way, but it's cheaper. It's much cheaper. So that's just my advice to you. I wouldn't buy 249 offers. If you want to, if you really, 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 really want that monster, yes, go for it. You know, I'm not going to tell you you can't buy it. Of course you can. Um, but it's better to wait for cell week. It's just cheaper. So, guys, that is probably the most frequently asked questions that I get. All right, peeps, so that's going to be it for the frequently asked questions. Um, hopefully I answered all the ones you guys have. Hopefully the people that ask them all the time have watched the video so I don't get them all the time anymore. But if you guys have any questions, comments, or suggestions for future videos, don't forget to leave those in the down there, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If you liked the video, please make sure you smash that thumbs up button to show your support, and I will see you guys next time.